Mm -hmm. Oh, just looking at today's newspaper? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Page B3? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Bishop Budnick? Yeah. Uh, is that my son? Mm. You know, uh, Zach Budnick? Yeah. Mm. Seems that they were playing football. Mm. Bishop Budnick, who totaled 265 of his 274 rushing yards? Yes. Mm. Budnick, yeah. Budnick. Mm -hmm. uh, and he landed uh, on my ankle and destroyed it, Budnick said. Mm -hmm. uh, my son's ankle was destroyed? Uh, he was a key player for them. He's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, did my son get injured during a football game? Uh, because it says here, mm -hmm. uh, Croy went head-to-head -head in the first half with Quilcene sophomore running back Bishop Budnick. Yep. Yeah. Total 265 of his 274 rushing yards in the first half before sitting out much of the second half with an ankle injury. Yes. Um, you know what? Did my son's ankle get... You know, I've informed you, yes, mm -hmm. that the petitioner didn't sign the protection order. Yeah. That there's a forgery uh -huh, on the protection order. Yes. And my son has received an injury from playing football. Yes. Where he had to sit out uh, much of the second half. Yeah. Now, I know that when I asked you yes. to do a forensic handwriting uh, evaluation of all the documents that Heidi Budnick signed. Yes. And then I find out this morning when reading the newspaper. Yes. That my son has been injured because of your refusal. You know, I'm going to imprison. <clears throat> Seven million employees of this nation. Yeah! Because of your obstruction of my rights as a parent. Yes. Now, I've asked you to remove your fraud. Yes. And my son now has an injury. Yes. That could uh, last him the rest of his life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I tackled him. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, 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 second half with an injury and, and uh, landed on my ankle and destroyed it. Yeah. My son's going to be an invalid for the rest of it. You know, mm -hmm. my wife kidnapped my son. Yes. And you issued a protection order. Yes. For an arrest that took place on Guam. Yeah. And then I inform you that she didn't sign the protection order. Yes. And that I was not given any due process. Right. There's quite a few fraudulent statements on the protection order. Mm-hmm. And now my son has a injury, yes, that could last him the rest of his life because his ankle's been destroyed. You know, could you could you get me the reported domestic violence of every person in law enforcement throughout the nation? Yes. And then the mandatory arrest uh, obligations of law enforcement? Yeah. Not just the administrative leave. I mean, you get arrested. Yes. You get tried by a jury of your peers. Yes. And then you can explain to a jury why it's a dispute mm -hmm. and not violence. Yeah. Now, this woman, mm -hmm. for some reason, you don't think it's domestic violence. Yes. To use her name in a router newsletter. And then every day you sat there because you got a gun. Now, um, Rangers, yes, mm -hmm. Crescent, yes. The individuals that said I was in Jefferson County on June 16th of 2017, yeah. When I emailed law enforcement, right, that I was sitting in front of the Masonic Temple that day, I was in the senior center, yes, and I was sending emails all afternoon. Mm -hmm. Now, how is it possible that you don't understand how criminal this is? Now, um, just looking through the email that I sent, yeah, mm -hmm. you decided that my sister, Susan Bowers, right, is going to allow for the abuse of Marilyn Van Proyen. Yes, and you're not going to arrest Mike Van Proyen. Sheriff, mm -hmm. 
the injury mm -hmm. that Bishop Budnick has received because of my parenting rights being violated? Yes. I'm going to sue you for it right now. I'm going to sue every sheriff in this nation. Yes. Because it looks to me, yes, that my son is receiving injuries. Yes. Because this county and this state refuses to enforce the laws of the United States. 